another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I'm going to tie a stretch rib caddis pupa. The hook I have in the vise is a Maruto. This is a C46 size 16. This is a shrimp caddis hook. The stretch rib that I'm going to use is Frosty Fly stretch rib and this is olive. It's a nice semi-transparent or transparent color there. They also have cream, yellow, orange, olive, which is in here in this package, green, gray, and black. Thread I'm going to use is 8 ah, 70 denier. Going to start that thread behind the eye. I'm going to come back just about one eye length. I'm going to take my stretch rib. Took that stretch rib and I kind of crushed it with pliers a little bit. It's not helping a real lot because it's very vibrant, re, re stretches or re plumps. Get that attached and as I'm going back, I'm going to pull that stretch rib. going to use that at the 45 degree angle to keep everything on top. As I'm going back I'll pull it tighter and tighter so that it gets our body shape there a little bit. Bring that down slightly around the bend and then bring that thread back up. Now when I pull this when I go to wrap this, I'm going to pull it pretty tight at the bottom. And I'm going to release a little bit of pressure as I go up. And this will help to give a little bit more of a body shape. going to stop there just a little bit over an eye length. I'm going to tie that in. There we go. I'm also pulling that excess stretch rib a little bit tight as I'm securing it. When I go to cut it off I'm going to pull it tight And that will leave me a minimal amount of uh, tag. Go ahead and secure that tag. Now for this, the wings on the side, I like to use raffia. So I have my raffia and I'm going to uh, pull it apart. That's a little bit too thick. I want it a little bit more transparent. Let's go ahead and take that apart. Just one more. There we go. That's pretty nice and you could see through it there. Got a fold on the bottom. Try to take that fold out. And we're going to tie that in on the side and towards the bottom. You could actually leave a pretty decent amount out the front because you can just clip that right off. We want that to be down the bottom. And I can take my scissors. I'm going to go this way so I get the shape of that wing. I'm going to get it just a little bit longer than the body. Then I'm going to take it for this side. I'm 
go ahead and remove that front. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim this side, same length as the other. Now we can take a, going to use wood duck flank and take five or six of those fibers for antenna and we'll make them just slightly longer than the wing or about as long as the wing go ahead and remove that excess I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, black rabbit fur dubbing this has a little bit of the crystal flash in there from my homemade crystal dub try to take most of that out a little bit of flash is is actually pretty good for it Wrap that thorax, then we'll wrap that head. Take my whip finish. Go ahead and remove that thread. Put a little bit of head cement on there. I definitely got it on the eye when we get it in the eye we take a spare feather laying on the table here we'll put that in the eye and run that through and here we have our stretch rib caddis pupa hope that you learned something from this video hope you would subscribe to my channel Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.